guys hi welcome back to our youtube channel again yes guys <laughs> it's thursday talks with mutinario and esther and your one and only baby girl mm -hmm. but today i'm not going with queen i'm a baby girl yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so today we have a yes juicy topic for you as usual yeah we shall be talking about empathy and self pity, self -pity. or pity party guys, <laughs> yes, guys. Pity party. <laughs> all right so we're going to be starting first off with the definitions as usual and we'll have miss esther define what um, empathy is okay so like i always say i'm the mother of simple english <laughs> we'll give it to you Ma. <laughs> yes so um empathy for me is putting yourself in one's shoes okay yes I'm going through something, you put yourself in my shoe, you're yeah. able to encourage me, able to advise me. You like feeling what I feel. Mm -hmm. Don't just say sorry without you actually feeling what I feel. Mm -hmm. That is what empathy is. Mm -hmm. The part that stood out for me in what she said was the part where she said feeling what other people feel. feel. Yes, it's very important. Before you start giving advices, before you start doling out, you know, we know you are at least you you know, you just want to advise and all those things. While we want to do that, it is also important that we that we feel what other people are feeling, feeling. so that we are able to really really judge the matter. Yeah. That was the white one. So we go next to the next thing which is self pity or pity party. party. Hmm. Self-pity or pity party is when I feel sorry for myself, when I feel pity for myself. It's okay to feel bad after a major issue has issue happened. Has happened yeah. Yes, very okay with it. But self-pity or pity party is when I sit with it, I, I feel like a victim. You mm. know, yes, I feel like a victim. Someone has vilified me, so I need to feel like a victim. I need to sit in it and not come out of it for a long time. So that's what self-pity is to me. I think I like that feeling like a victim okay. and when you said that what came to me is condemnation mm. you know in Romans the Bible says there is therefore no condemnation to them mm -hmm. that are in Christ Jesus mm -hmm. so it's like you stand down and condemning yourself yeah mm. so guys let's move forward to mm -hmm. the next part the question the very very big question now mm -hmm. is are people naturally born to have empathy or it can be learned mm. like before you even listen to what we're going to say type it we want to see your own um opinion opinion on mm -hmm. this are, are, are there some people that naturally they are born to have it or they are good at it's based on nurture yeah culture mm -hmm. upbringing and all that yeah so what do you think okay for me self-pity is not is it, it varies in people actually <laughs> let's talk about genders yeah i said self-pity empathy let's talk about genders we believe that most people believe that that empathy is something that comes with being weak <laughs> yeah so they, yes. they just attribute it to just the female gender just the female gender should feel empathy and they say we have this mother mother care in us yes this motherly trait you know yes, that exactly. just makes us naturally empathetic mm -hmm. and in some cases it just comes with temperament yeah there are certain temperaments that will never ever i mean never once you're going through something they just come and look at you and yeah they don't understand why you are even crying because well, they're like people exactly <laughs> i see you guys my people <laughs> we love you from the from bottom of, of our, our hearts heart. yes <laughs> actually please, that is we're not taking a christ, it easy that's not a christ trait actually yes i think it's, it's something you have to work on yes if you don't have Be Yes. that ability to sympathize with people and all that yes because even the bible says that we should mourn with those that are mourning and, rejoice. and we should rejoice that means that you have to put yourself in their shoes because it's not easy to actually rejoice when the thing did not happen to you, to you. Get, or to even mourn when it didn't happen to you so the bible really understands what he was saying and jesus had compassion on people and as a result he could heal them yes so so some people are born with it and some people are not born with it so if you are not born with it you need to actually cultivate it cultivate okay, so it so we can say there are people naturally mm -hmm. born with it mm -hmm. and there are people that they are not born with it and i feel to there are people that Maybe they even have a little on their inside, but because of the way they are raised. Yeah. If you are raised in a harsh environment, it's like um one guy that used to kill that was a serial killer those days. 
and I think he now accepted Jesus. Okay. And they were asking him now, why is it that you don't care when you kiss? So when he was raised, he was as he, maybe when when he was two years old, they were giving him human being head to kick in everywhere. Oh my so God. because of that, when he sees humans, what he saw is let's kill, let's kill, wow. let's kill. So you can be born with it. Yeah. Because they are naturally there's this um caring. Yes. Um, part in them that you be wondering how are you doing it, mm -hmm. but there are people that you have to consciously mm -hmm. remind yourself like you've not spoken to someone. Yes. You have to remind me. Some people even have to set a reminder. Oh, let me call this person. Let me do this. Let me yes. do that. Yeah. Actually. So you can learn it. You can even improve on it. Yes, you can improve on it. And I, I think something something struck me as you were talking. Sometimes we do not feel empathy for people because we have not gone through what they, what they went through. <laughs> yes, sometimes. I think so. I uh, read maybe sometimes. Maybe sometimes. There are some few sometimes. things. Yes. Like uh, other things that, like now for example, one thing that people hardly like really have empathy with people is maybe someone gets pregnant especially if the person has been warned yes. about maybe they see that you, you are moving towards a particular guy and they're like warning you and the person now gets pregnant and okay. everybody's like eh she, she opened her leg first mm -hmm. it's not as if the team will just jump on her but at the same time yeah at the same time i feel there are other people that even though maybe they saw that person opening their leg they'll still feel I might not pity you, but the yes. child you brought into the world. Yes, I have to. <laughs> because for me you now, like for example, I might see you do something, I might not like you, but the fact that if what is pregnancy case, I might not be happy with you. Mm -hmm. But when that child comes and I'm like, this child didn't ask to be here. Yes. So for the sake of this child, mm -hmm. I'm going to like do anything I can do yes. to help. Yes. So situations actually also determine how people show yes. their kindness and mm -hmm. signs of um sympathy and, or empathy yes and i think that for me th there was something something that struck me so always striking me <laughs> that struck me while you were talking was <laughs> the fact that I, there was a time i told someone i was having cold fit hmm. with having a live program something like that or having you know just talking like on a stage do you, do you get and the person was like hey, hey it's not just to stand on the stage and talk and i was like can you can you just okay maybe you have been doing this thing and you've been finding it it means nothing to you because you've done it you've been a lot of times over and over again. yes and you have succeeded in that area which is fine but can you at least just you know put yourself in my shoes and understand that this thing might not be easy for me for you. yes and you know do not just come at me with it's something easy you you know just do it so I yeah. think um, another thing is understanding graces. Mm -hmm. If I tell someone I'm afraid to do something and the next thing you do is to condemn me, mm -hmm. I know that you don't understand that whatever you're able to do is because God has given you the mm -hmm. grace. It does not mean I don't have the grace, but I might not have like realize that god has given me yes. that grace and ability yes. so there's a way you can talk to me mm -hmm. that will make me feel like the people that have challenged me in doing um okay like for example i had someone in my church okay i was someone that was very timid i used to hide myself a lot in church and this one said that she would be hugging me every sunday wow every sunday and then that the more she kept doing it, it ministered love wow to me like he not made him to actually want to reach out to people imagine she shall look at me that this one is proud it's because she this one, this, this one. exactly so, i think understand that whatever you're able to do mm -hmm. is by god's grace. grace he gave you the ability mm -hmm. to do so if someone cannot do it, it's not for you to now convince them yes exactly convincing not force oh you know the fact that you can do this that means if you work on this area you can actually do it yes. or comment on something they have done before it's yes a really it's a go a long way yes. it's a really go a long way and okay i think we still have a few seconds so i think we also need to to talk about i think some things like um you know the other time when we were preparing we talked about the fact that some people for example, you want to start a business and some people have leverage, like they have someone to support them yeah. with finances, with some equipment, and some people have to start from the scratch because they've never even seen anybody in their family, <laughs> anybody close yes. to them do it before. Yeah. So it's a whole new venture. And then some people have it all together. They have the family support, they have the money, they have the capital, you know, and because of that, people, people tend to be 
they look upon the person actually it's something that happens to me <laughs> yes <Sorry>. so people, <laughs> people tend to look at the person starting from the scratch like oh so look at what your mates are doing you are just lazy do you get forgetting that th that it's not so you don't have the same oh uh, the same environment with the person so so they do not expect it to just be on the same at the same pace at the same level with the person you know those things and all that so th this is where giving yourself some graces comes in so right yes yes so i think so we've concluded that um mm -hmm. it can be learned mm -hmm. they are put naturally they have it yeah and we are also said the atmosphere of where someone goes mm -hmm. also matters and when you're thinking about all this thing about someone coming to tell you things and all, what what comes out from them is condemnation mm -hmm. that is why truly before you tell anybody something the yeah. holy spirit should tell that you should tell that person or, or not, not. Mm -hmm. don't just say oh the person is also so in church therefore i see how the person sings and they are lost in god mm -hmm. and you don't feel like once i tell them this problem they will just come out of that holy of holies and just give you one advice that will shake everywhere oh, some of goodness. them so I, one thing i've learned is i can be going through stuff mm -hmm. i patiently wait god who am i to tell how mm -hmm. i feel because i've had that um thing too i failed exam and I felt I should tell someone that had gone through that the person will actually understand. Yeah. That's why when you're talking about maybe when somebody has gone through it, that is not for me. It's not because it's not people don't it's just okay, empathize with you because they've gone through it. Mm -hmm. They are put that naturally. There's no this condemnation is out of them. Yes. Do you understand? They've because this particular person, after I this person went through the same thing I was yeah. going through. Okay. And by the time I told the person that oh I feel though. And you know, naturally, I felt if I tell this person, this person won't judge me. Mm -hmm. By the next time I was meeting my, the rest of my friends, everybody knew about my failure. Mm -hmm. Condemnation came in. Mm -hmm. So, I think depending on the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. we help you so to, who to, to, who to tell. Mm -hmm. So that, you know now, instead of you getting encouraged, you will not be sinking inside pity party. Yes. Or into, inside self-pity. Yes, guys. All right, so I believe that you've picked one or two things and yes, you really this is loaded for me I'm going to have to rewatch this video later All right guys, so catch the second part of this video um, Via the link will be dropping in the description box so you do not miss out on anything we talk about We're going to be talking about a number of things like we have a lot packaged for the second part and we trust the Holy Spirit will help you with some yes, things. Yes, beautiful through. people. So mm -hmm. this particular video is going to her channel. Yes, guys. Her channel. Yes, my channel. Duna Global. <laughs> right? So yes, guys. make sure you watch it. Mm -hmm. Catch you in the next video. All right, guys. Au revoir. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna wake up with you in the morning Say what you wanna say to me